What is up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. I look like this right now because I just woke up and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen on my stories that I posted about the fact that I hurt my neck. So I was at the gym yesterday and I was doing this exercise where you're on your hands and knees and then your hands is like this rolly thing and you go down almost into a plank and then bring yourself back up and it works on your abs. And after like maybe the fifth or sixth one, I came back up and I just felt like this insane pain from like my head all the way down my spine to my butt. And it felt like a string of like super tight. It just hurt so bad. And I was in excruciating pain. So we went quickly to see my chiropractor and he kind of helped a little bit, but like all day yesterday I couldn't move. Like if I want to look at something, I have to move my whole like torso like this. Like I can't really move my neck much. Like that really, really hurts. So I have a follow up with him today, but I have like mobility everywhere else in my body. And like, I didn't, I don't like, I didn't like lose feeling or anything. So I know it's just like my neck and right now it's not my lower back. It's literally just in between my shoulder blades as well as my neck. I got, I asked you guys if I should go to the hospital or just see my chiropractor again because I was kind of scared and a lot of you guys had different opinions. But I also forgot that in the States to be a chiropractor is a lot different than in Canada. Canada is very strict. Well, actually, I don't know if it's all of Canada, but definitely Quebec, you have to, you have to go to med school, right? To be a, a chiropractor. As far as I know, yeah. yeah, like, well, at least I, our chiropractor went to med school um, and, like, does x-rays and everything at his office. So he's actually a doctor, but he specializes in chiropractor, chiropractic. I don't know what the word is. But basically, he doesn't only just do, like, adjustments. He does, like, massaging and stretching and stuff like that, too. And he works with athletes and people of all ages. I'm going back to him today, and I might ask to do an x-ray. I don't really know. I'm going to get a neck brace, but I could not sleep last night. Like, I was in so much pain. I took... Advil and Motrin and just things to like help, but it didn't really do much So I'm <laughs> waiting till my appointment today We were supposed to go up to my cottage this whole week and we haven't been able to because I can't freaking move and it hurts when I'm in the car Because every bump or turn we go on it's like oh painful. What are you doing? I'm adjusting the pad. Oh, Try to put it somewhere that it's gonna spray a lot. Hi yeah. Hi baby What's up dude? Oh, you're so handsome. It'd be nice to go up north for him because I didn't go to the lake. I know, but it's pouring rain. So. Do you still want to go today? You're the one that didn't want to go. What the heck? Excuse no, me. No, the only reason I don't want to go is it all depends on your neck. You know, if the best thing to do is to stay home and wear the neck brace and just chill, it might be the best thing to do. Because like I could do that up north as well, like just chill inside the cabin. But it's still an hour in the car. Yeah, it's a lot. You know, it's still a blow up mattress. Which is probably better than the freaking mattress that I slept in last night. I had to go the sleep on the couch. The mattress up here. Up it's too there, hot. But it's too hot up here. Yeah. So. I woke up at around 1.30 in the morning. Like, it, in so much pain and extremely hot. Like, I was literally sweating. It was just disgusting. So I came upstairs. I drank a whole thing of water. Took more Advil. And then it was cooler in the basement, like, living area versus the bedroom. I think it's because it's more open space. So I just, like, sat on the couch with Boo and like positioned my body in a way that didn't hurt. And then I started watching some TV and I was like, oh, I'll fall asleep. But like four hours later, I still was not sleeping. So I just ended up taking a grab ball, like a drowsy one. So I could fall asleep and just get some sleep in because I was like, I need to like drug myself to be able to fall asleep. I know it's bad, but like, I just need to get away from this pain. I woke up this morning, it still hurts. So it's not as bad as after the gym yesterday. After the gym, I was like crying so bad because it hurt. We also have no food in the house because we were supposed to be up at the cottage till like the weekend so we didn't do groceries so like yesterday we we're like oh we won't do any groceries because like we'll just leave tomorrow and then now today we don't have groceries again and we still might stay tonight so i don't really know what we're gonna do but as of right now we're kind of just waiting i can't look down at him so i keep thinking i'm gonna touch him and then he doesn't touch me so i don't know where he is but dan's been so nice he's been helping me a lot and being the best thanks babe you're welcome my mom was coming over today. She came over yesterday as well. We watched actually a really good movie. It was called like The Snowman. And I'm pretty sure it's a British film, but it, I think it takes place in Norway. And it was really cool. If you guys like murder mystery crime movies, I would definitely recommend it. It was a little slow. It kind of, ouch, I stubbed my toe. It reminded me a lot of Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. But it's, it was really good, so definitely recommend it. I also need to get my nails done. I don't know if you can see, they're growing out. A lot. These are my real nails. I get shellac. 
Oh, fun thing. On Monday, we're actually going to go check out a place that we might rent for my bridal shower. So I will definitely vlog that, document it for my main channel because I'm doing another like wedding thing. Part of one of the last videos in my wedding series before our actual wedding. I'm really excited. So stay tuned for that. Okay, guys, my mom showed up. Hi, mommy. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's the furry thing in the Yeah, it's a mic. And she brought me a neck brace. So I'm gonna wear this for now and then we're gonna go to the chiropractor at, uh, we have to leave in like two hours. <laughs> it's so funny when I need to look at someone and I have to like turn my whole body like this and I have to like look to the side. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what was my voice? <laughs> okay guys, time to update you. Currently at my cottage. Ow, I just twisted my neck by doing that. <laughs> So my chiropractor follow-up appointment went really well. He kind of just, he didn't really do any crazy movement adjustments. He was more just seeing how my neck was with the swelling and like we did a few like exercises with stretching and stuff, but not anything that's going to like injure my neck. He was really careful with that, but he said he doesn't think it's a slip disc because my symptoms would be a lot different and I'd be in a lot more pain and I wouldn't be able to like move in certain ways and stuff. So he said he thinks I just really pulled the muscles, like the small muscles in my spine. So just wearing this to keep it secure actually slept really well last night because my neck was able to stay like still like this and not move all over the place while I was sleeping. And the bed here is a lot harder, which I normally hate, but I need that for my injury. So I slept really well, things are better. It's not as painful with the neck brace on, but it still is really painful. But today we are with Chester and Boo hanging out. Boo's just like literally chewing up all the weeds. Thanks, dude. Dan is in the process of cleaning out the fire pit. That is his task for the day. Um, it was like full of weeds and twigs before and like underneath like that fire pit place over there. Um, all this stuff was there and he cleared it out and he's making it really pretty and my uncle and my cousin are cleaning the front of the house because At the bottom of here. I don't know if you guys could see um, All of the white is like chipping off. So we're kind of fixing that around the house and are those spider webs on the grass Dan? Yeah, they are. It's because of the, those are normally there, but you don't see them There's moisture caught in Ew Yuck that's a lot of spider webs. Like, what kind of spiders are they? All those like white things are spider webs. That one's huge. Ew. So we are working on the deck. Dan is taking it apart. We're completely oh, renovating. Run well, that's what I said, remember? I know. <laughs> you have to balance. Have to figure out a way to do this. I might go. You have to be a ballerina. Boo. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> It's really hot today. Hi guys, what are you doing? Hi Chester. <laughs> hey badges. Boo boo. So cute. Cool. Oh, what are you gonna do? My mom and my cousin are making cement up there. All right, now I have to stand on two. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, this freaking squashy boy. 
so handsome. Hi guys, as you can see we're back home. I have my brace off of my neck, although I still am being very careful with everything. <laughs> But we're heading out today to spend the day with my cousin Andreas. It was his birthday a few days ago and our present to him was just to spend a day with him. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. Super casual. <laughs> this very oversized sweater that I got in England. In England, what am I saying? In Ireland from uh, Trinity College in Dublin. And I got it in a size like double XL because it's I want it to be super long like I wear it as a dress with these leggings that are like shorts, um, but like biker shorts, and then my Converse with platforms. Very comfy. It's a little cold out today, and I'm always cold, and we're gonna go do an escape room, so just in case it's cold in there. My hair's a mess. But yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm gonna try to keep the brace off my neck. Goodness, I need a burp. Well, I'm putting up a video today, which is like titled, I'm sorry, because like I just feel like such a failure with my channel. My main channel and just like so many sh so much crap going on in my life right now so i explained a little bit there if you guys want to go watch it but uh yeah hopefully i feel better with the day spending it with andreas he always makes me feel happy so yay hi jeez hi. <laughs> hi dan hi <laughs> we're looking for a place to go pee hi <laughs> hi so how's your day so far andreas hello you have to answer the question. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Watch out. You think you like me and Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we are. Ooh, at a mall. That's where you need. That's where you need to go shopping. <laughs> you need go to go shopping at Le Living. I look how they put the Le in front of it. There's actually some pretty nice stuff in there, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> oh, the children's place. Perfect. Just what? for you. I said that was for you. No, you said still me me. That's the children's place. It's Old different. Old Navy has some pretty nice clothes. You want to go in? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys. How was that? Oh, it's so bright. Good. We f we beat one. We did it. Yeah, Andreas is the queen. He found the crown. That was pretty cool. You guys are uh, really good at pu puzzle solving. Yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> you guys are a good team. It's all because of me, though, right? <laughs> well, you unlocked all the locks. So. Yep. <laughs> oh nice no, one. my thing fell. Nice one. Dang. Andreas loves Boo, and Boo loves him. <laughs> he has to look at you. He's like, are you look coming? Are you coming? Yeah, we're gonna go in the car. Hi, no, baby. you tricked me into taking a leash. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hold him? Sure. <laughs> Wait, can you hold him while I'm putting my shoes? Sure. I'll take him to the bathroom. Okay. Take him to go. Andreas, you're my height now, huh? Yeah. He's telling a story. I know, but I just wanted to go. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? What a good guy. Good. How are you feeling? Did you have a good birthday? Yeah. Are you happy? Do you love me? No. Okay, cool. Nice. For real? We brought him to Annie's, which is this uh, one of our favorite bars. It's like a waterfront, as you can tell. Yeah, it's by the water. Uh, bar restaurant. They do, they do like bar. Yeah, but he's not getting alcohol, so. He had Coca-Cola. Actually, it was Pepsi. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't even tell us. <laughs> they didn't say is Pepsi okay. <laughs> he's very offended That's by this. That's against the law. <laughs> they fed me something I didn't want in my body. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Nose. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Make sure you click the little bell to turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our uploads. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. In this abandoned amusement park, we come to life when it turns dark. We're just carnival hearts, you.